Hi guys! So in this video today, it's gonna be all about Star Wars just because Star Wars is freaking amazing and I just saw it a few hours ago and oh my god, I have no words. I watched all of the movies and I read a lot of things about it and I really, 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 really like it. My brother loves it so much it kind of rubbed off on me so as we were watching the film we were we were like ah ah and every time something new comes up in the, the screen like i literally kept on punching his arm and then uh and she's really badass i mean seriously i mean even from the trailer she she really looks so badass already and i love it so what i'm wearing right now is kind of like a dark version of what she was wearing in the movie oh if you could see this is just a makeshift costume just so i could get it really in character oh and also my hair my hair if you could see that that's my hair it's really according to what Ray was sporting in most of the movies. So I'm just gonna be like a color bent version of Ray. So today we're going to be doing a makeup look based on the sides of the forest, the light side and the dark side. So this is gonna be pretty interesting because I'm actually just making up these looks as I go, but hopefully it will turn out amazing. So yeah, if you want to see more of my light versus dark looks, then please keep on watching. So okay, first off, you gotta prime your face and your eyelids. Of course, and I'm starting off with my matte powder because I've already put on my base and my eyebrows. So now with my Flower Child palette, I'm using this brown color. I'm just gonna put a little bit of contour on my eyelids just so there's some shadow and this shimmery pink shadow on my lids it's okay to use your brush that is dipped in water so that it sticks a little bit more but hey if you have eyelid priming then it's okay so i used a golden color that matches kind of c3po so that I could accentuate my crease and then using this highlight color I'm using it on my inner tree duct and now just drag that gold color on underneath your lower lash line and now using these falsies from Fabulash these are the 747s just to accentuate my lashes and now on to the bronzer I just bronzed up my face a bit just so it's not too pale and now using this pink shimmery blush I'm just gonna apply it on my cheeks And now for the highlight, gotta have that glow going. So yeah, I'm just using a fan brush to put on the glow on my cheeks. Now using ColourPop liquid lipstick in Trap, I used it for this wearable version of the look. just a nude pink color and it's absolutely wearable but since this is a Star Wars tutorial you can use some other colored um, liquid lipsticks like if you have a blue or a green then go for it I took inspiration for it from the lightsabers and since I used purple it's from Mace Windu's lightsaber yeah, he's the only one with a purple lightsaber. I didn't have a blue or a green lipstick anyway. So here's the final look. 
one wearable look and the other is still wearable but a little bit more bold since it's purple so yes here's the light side everyone now on to the dark side i used a foundation and just put it on there because we need a flawless base And now onto this dark brown color. Just perfect your brows. Now using an eye primer on your lids because we're going to do a lot of shadows in this look. And now for the eyeliner, instead of a normal cat eye, draw an outline from your outer corner up to your crease and just don't go all the way just halfway then using a dark gray color just fill in the outer corner then drag it to the middle of your eyelid now using a silver color just put it on your inner part of your eyelid and then a highlight color on your inner tear duct. This creates a subtle gradient effect. And I didn't film it, I forgot to film it, but I added more black on the outer corner. And then that gray part, I dragged it down on my lower lash line. Also, don't forget to highlight your brow bone. Then using the same lashes from before, I just apply them on so that they ha add a little bit more drama. Then using this bronzy blush type of thing, just to carefully sculpt my cheeks and add some flush to it. And then, of course, the glow, the highlight, because you always need that to be bomb. Now using this ColourPop Lippy Sticks in Bichette, the best name ever, I'm just lining my lips with it and then filling it in. Honestly love the lipsticks name. And then since I forgot to conceal, I'm doing it right now but we should have concealed after your foundation. I'm just using it here to clean up my mistakes on my lips and then concealing my under eyes when I forgot to do so earlier. And that's it for the dark side look. I took inspiration from the red lightsaber of the Sith for the red lips. Now bonus round! You can see here how I really quickly make Ray's hairstyle. It's kind of a messy version because my hair is really short, so there are a lot of flyaways. And I don't have hair ties that match the color of my hair. And Ray doesn't really have a makeup look. She looks really natural. So I went with this sort of no makeup makeup look with made up brows because I found that her brows were kind of a bit perfect. And then just a little color on my lids but more volume on the lashes because she has great lashes you can see me working on those lashes for a while now after that i just used the same reddish brown blush just to give myself a little bronzy blushed up feel and then i used this nyx lipstick just to give my lips a little tint because that's how her lips look and that's it so that's it for my light side versus dark side video and i hope you enjoyed that little bonus thing at the end where i showed you how i transformed myself into ray so what did you think about the new star wars movie just leave a comment below tell me what you think and be careful of the spoilers. So I hope you like this tutorial 
hopefully I'll get to see you again soon in my next video. You can follow me on Twitter and on Snapchat and on Instagram. And yeah, so I'll see you on my next video. Bye!